Um, that's weird. Yeah, that's not gonna work for me. Okay. Uh, this is Cherokee 7738 November. I actually need to go back to Sugarland Airport, please. Morning, everybody. I'm here at the airport with Lil Red. It's a beautiful day to fly, so let's jump in, go grab some lunch. I'll see you in the sky. It is a hot one today. Holy moly. This video is proudly sponsored by Pilot Institute. Make sure you stay till the very end to find out about their incredible sale because it's really good. And she wants to fly today because that was an even easier startup than usual. I can hear me, hopefully you can hear me. I am back to using my A20s today because unfortunately my A30 microphone like won't stay in the correct position. So I will reach out to Bose and see if we can get that fixed. Now that we've got the airplane started up, we're gonna do our pre-taxi taxi checklist real quick. So seatbelts are fastened, yes. Flaps are in the up position. Heater and defrost are both turned off. Avionics master switch is on. All of my gauges are illuminated. Looks good. I did get full fuel. I did a full top off today before this flight, just in case, because there are some clouds. You just never know what ATC is going to have you do. Transponder, we're currently 1200. We'll listen to our weather, change our altimeter, and then pick up our clearance. I did file for an instrument flight plan once again, simply because that's just the way I prefer to fly. I love the assistance that I get from air traffic control. But, uh, you know, that's just a personal preference thing. VFR flying is fun too, but I also have some clouds and now I don't even have to worry about them. This guy is pulling his airplane with his truck. Love that for him. Very nice. All right. Let's get over here. Go back in the sun for a minute. But once we get up to altitude, hopefully it'll be at least a little bit cooler. If not, now we're burning calories and we're going to get a $100 cheeseburger. So that's okay. I'm good with that. We're gonna come behind these airplanes, steer clear of everybody else. There are some birds over here, so I'll make sure none of them get any funny ideas. I don't have my seat covers today and my butt is already sore, so that'll be fun. I tried washing them because you've left me so many comments in my video saying that I needed to wash them. It didn't go well, <laughs> but I'll, I'll fix it up, don't worry. All right, so RPMs are set to 1,000, perfect. Well, good morning, everybody, actually. Good afternoon, everybody. Today we are going to fly to lunch. So we are going to Angelina County. It's in Lufkin. It's only about an hour away from Sugarland. It's a beautiful day to fly. I've actually been sick, but now that I'm feeling back to being right as rain, I wanted to go for a flight and I wanted to bring you along with me. So we'll knock out a couple of quick checklists, make sure the airplane is in pristine running condition. And then as long as everything looks good, it will be time for takeoff. So let's get into it. Seat belts. Oh, we already did part of that. So my transponder is set to 1200. Let's listen to our weather and then we're going to pick up our craft clearance. Sugarland Regional Airport, Houston, Texas. Automated weather observation 1830 Zulu. Wind 160 at 12. Visibility 10. Sky condition few 4000. Scattered 4,900. Temperature 31 Celsius. Dew point 19 Celsius. Altimeter 2993. Okay. Remarks Density altitude 1,900. Sugarland Regional Airport, Houston, Texas. All right, perfect. So everything is looking good. We've got a few clouds at 4,000 feet. I'm totally cool with that. Um, our altimeter needs to be set to two at nine or nine or three, which is very different than the last time I flew. So let's go ahead and change that. And that is within 75 feet of field elevation. I usually will see about 110 to 130 as my range here based off of my altimeter settings. So 120 is perfect. Density altitude, we have a plenty long runway, so we are good there. And winds are coming from 160 at 12, so we will be using runway 17. I'm feeling good. 
So as follows is my clearance. As of right now, I did file for direct. I don't think I'm gonna get it, but that's okay. We'll find out what they say. I filed for 5,000 feet because as you can see, I'm gonna actually include a clip here. This is where my best winds were. So we're only gonna go to 5,000 feet. Now, if it's too hot or the winds aren't as great as I thought, we can always climb, but it's also a really short flight. Realistically, my frequency is gonna be 123.8, and then any other information that we might need to know, we will get from ATC right now. So let's come over here, bring it up on our iPad, and we have all of our frequencies already set up in here too. Perfect. Good afternoon, Sugarland Ground, Cherokee 773 in November, I'd like to pick up IFR to Angelina County, please. Turkey 773 at November Sugarland Ground, you're cleared to the uh, Lufkin Airport uh, via the Lufkin 3 departure direct. I'm going to maintain 2,000. We expect 5,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure control frequency 123.8, squawk 4535. Okay, cleared to Lufkin Airport via Lufkin 3 uh, uh, departure, excuse me, and then direct climb maintain 2,000, expect 5,000 within one zero minutes. Frequency will be 123.8, squawk 4535 for 773 at November. Checker 3 at November, read back is correct. I have a uh, question for you. Can, uh, can you give me a call on the phone? Uh, yeah, give me one second for 773 at November. Okay, pause for dramatic effect. Meridian 648, Tango, Sugar Land Ground, runway 17, uh, let's go Foxtrot Alpha to Mike. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this down for a second because I actually want to talk about this. A lot of the times when a pilot is requested to call ATC, it's because they've either done something wrong or they want to get clarification on something. They actually are a fan of the videos that I've been posting on YouTube, and he has a friend who is a teacher at a high school that is trying to encourage people to get into meteorology and aviation and just travel as a whole and so they wanted to know if I would come and talk to the class which of course I said yes anyway we'll go ahead and get back to this now <laughs> all right so we are gonna climb and maintain 2000 which we've got set up right here perfect we're gonna squawk 4535 right here on that transponder and then that frequency will be 123.8 but we'll set that once we switch to our tower frequency looking good so we are going to Hilo, Lima, Lima, Foxtrot, Hilo, Angelina County, Lufkin, Texas, and then our departure, go to procedure here, departure, and we're gonna do the Lufkin 3 departure. Right here, using runway 17, which we know from listening to our weather, load, and we've got all of our waypoints in here. Perfect. Now I'll go ahead and pop it here on the iPad, just for redundancy. More than anything, and I talk about this a lot, my iPad is for situational awareness. So it just gives me you know, more insight into what's going on. It's a quicker snapshot. Um, and especially when I'm looking out for traffic, this is a really good way for me to spot that traffic easily if I can't find them out the window too. Just to make sure that I'm always staying safe. So, Lufkin 3, we're going to do no transition, add to route, beautiful, that looks great. Excellent. All right, so 2000 is set, takeoff mode is enabled, and heading 170, let's go ahead and bug that. And the restaurant actually closes at 2.30, so we're going to speed things along, but I will see you over at the run-up area. Altimeter is good. Radio we've just tested. Tax lights are good. Brakes are good. Attitude indicator we have blue over brown and wings are level. Turn coordinator, excellent. And HSI to magnetic compass within 10 degrees. Beautiful. And we are ready to taxi. I'm sure my hair is already crazy, but you know, the price of living in Texas. <laughs> All right. iPad is plugged in too. Perfect. Sugarland Ground, Cherokee 773 8 November is holding short of Echo with the weather. Ready to taxi, please. Cherokee 773 8 November, runway 17, taxi via Echo, Alpha, and Mike. 17 via Echo, Alpha, and Mike for 773 8 November. Thank you. All right. Cool. Now we're officially on our merry little way. <laughs> but it's a very busy day here at Sugarland. There's like four or five different airplanes taxiing right now. We'd love to see it. It has been 
really, really beautiful lately. This is probably the hottest day, which of course is the day I just so happened to decide to fly, but you know, we make the best of it. I'm still excited. I'm really looking forward to this cheeseburger. I've been hearing all these great reviews about this cheeseburger at this airport, so I'm really looking forward to it. And I did call ahead this time. They are open, so we are good there too. All right. Clear, clear. Falling in behind this multi-engine and we got out of that Cessna's way wicked fast. Nailed it. We are officially holding short of the runway, so let's knock out this run-up checklist and get in the sky. All right, so brakes are set. Fuel proper tank 25 and 25, looking good. Trim for takeoff. Gonna bring that to the middle of neutral here. Excellent. And flight control check. Pushing and pulling. Control yoke forward and back. Tails moving up and down. And to the left and to the right. So, left turn, left aileron is up. Right turn, right aileron is up. And rudders and brakes were working perfectly during taxi, so flight controls are free and correct. Enunciator lights are looking good as well. Instruments, we have blue over brown. Wings are level and that ball is nice and centered. Airspeed does indicate zero. We're within 75 feet of field elevation and not indicating a climb or descent. HSI does in fact align with our magnetic compass within 10 degrees. No bubbles, cracks, or leaks. Beautiful. And all of our backup instruments are looking just as good. All those engine instruments have officially come up into the green too. Mixture best power, primers in and locked, and let's bring those RPMs to two grand. I'm keeping a close eye on my magneto check, especially for the next couple of weeks or the next couple of flights, just because I did just get my new magneto installed and I wanna make sure everything is looking good. RPMs are 2,000, all gauges are in the green. Right magneto, small drop, no big red X's and still looks good. Back to both. Making sure that comes back up to that 2,000. And that is close enough. Left magneto now. Perfect. Back to both once again. Car peat on. Lost about 40 RPM there. Car peat off. Excellent. And power to idle. Uh, you know what, I have an 871. And airplane continues to run within a safe RPM range. RPM is 1,000. Flaps are zero, electric fuel pump on, mixture is best power, carb heat's off, pitot heat is off, HSI still aligns the magnetic compass within 10 degrees, and still no bubbles, cracks, or leaks. Door is latched, I'll close my window here in just a moment. 4535, landing light on, strobes on, and the time is currently 1247, and my pens have disappeared, I just had it. What did I do with it? That's okay. I'll be able to uh, still log my logbook correctly by watching this back. I'll find it later. Excellent. Looking good. We've got everything else already set up. We're going to switch to our tower frequency so I can put in departure at 123.8. Beautiful. Vents open because we're going to need as much cool air in the cockpit as possible. Sugarland Tower, Cherokee 773 November is holding short 17, ready for departure. Cherokee 7738 November, Sugarland Tower on departure, fly runway heading climb, maintain 2000, runway 17, clear for takeoff, Gulf Stream 4 out. 17, clear for takeoff, fly runway heading climb, maintain 2000, 773 in November, thanks. All right, and I've got the Gulf Scream, Gulf Scream, Gulf Streams landing lights in sight. Nobody's on the runway, everything is looking good. Let's do this thing. To the Southwest for exchange proof, wind zero, one five zero one two. Head down, thanks. On center line, and we're gonna keep that roll coming. Full power. Airspeed's alive. All gauges are in fact in the green. And let's go ahead and rotate. All gauges are still in the green, engine sounds great. And we'll climb it about 95 or so. We're only going up to 2000, so we don't need to climb super fast. 
They continue flying runway heading. Wind check. Wind check. Oh yeah, we got a little bit of wind. Thank you. Thank you. DHT is looking good. Jerry 38 November, contact you. Departure to flight. Over to departure. Talk to you soon. 38 November. All gauges are still in the green. Good afternoon, Houston departure. Cherokee 773 November is checking in, climbing through 1000, runway heading. 773 November, Houston departure, ready contact, climb and maintain 4000. Climb maintain 4000, 773 November. All right. Heading 170, 4000 is set. Electric fuel pump off, fuel pressure remains in the green, landing light off, everything is looking glorious. Beautiful. A little bumpy, but I expected that, especially with how hot it is. No harm done. Got three in November, turn right heading 270, vector for the clock. Right heading 270, 773 in November. Go ahead and hand fly for a minute. Why not? It's a beautiful day. Might as well. 270. And we can climb a little bit faster because he said vectors for the climb, so it's possible once I get up to, or excuse me, once we get up to 4,000 feet, he will clear us direct. I doubt it <laughs> because this is on the other side of the class Bravo, but we'll see. I was thinking we might hit some clouds, but I think they actually went quite a bit higher than they were going to, so that's kind of nice. Delta doesn't appear to be any traffic. Current. There's 270. 200, have a great day. And you have a great day. Thanks for your help. Bravo Delta. Airshare 718. Autopilot on, heading mode active, and we'll climb at about 105. Love to 040, Airshare 718. Airshare 17, contact departure on 126.67, check in with the heading. 2667, Airshare 17, good day. 3 November, climb and maintain 5,000. Climb maintain 5,000 now, 773 in November. Oh yeah, we have almost a 900-foot per minute climb with how hot it is right now and how heavy we are. I think it's safe to say my new Magneto is definitely pumping up some extra power. I love to see it. That is awesome. We're climbing at 103 miles per hour. I mean, we're not even close to VX or even VY for that matter. That is amazing. Yay! I guess it was worth it to not have the airplane for a week. Thanks, Lycoming. <laughs> cool. All right, right now, even though we are in a climb, our estimated time to destination is one hour, 17 minutes, which means when we level off at that 5,000 feet, I'm thinking we're gonna be below that hour mark at least. I'm hoping we're at like 47 minutes or so, cause I'm a little hungry, but we'll play it by ear. We'll see. Give me a mate, Juliet Whiskey, get right down to 3,000 for me, please. Advise when you have, uh, we'll take a look at the visual approach, just verify you have the local area and weather for West Houston. The local weather for West Houston, and uh, yes, we'd like to visual one pop. 3 November, turn right heading 330. 330, 773 in November. All right. Now we're going the right direction. Love to see it. Number 31, Charlie Alpha, level 6. And we should still have a pretty good tailwind even going this direction. We still need to turn another about 40 degrees, but hey. We're already making better time than I thought we were going to. Especially with how busy the airport was, I was worried ATC was just going to be like crazy busy. But I also have to give props to especially the Houston air traffic control team because they are just immaculate. Everybody is awesome. I love ATC as a whole, but they get us where we need to go. The only thing that I ever have an issue with is they'll make me descend to like 2,000 feet, 50 miles out. <laughs> And that's kind of a bummer, but other than that, we're all good. All right, so that beeping sound that you just heard means that we only have 1,000 feet until we are going to level off at 5,000. That is gonna put me right in this cloud layer, so we may actually request to climb up to 7,000, but we'll see how bumpy it is. It's always good to get a little actual. We're on an instrument flight plan anyway, why not, right?
Ever have one of those days where you just wake up and you just know it's gonna be a good day? That's, that's what happened to me today. Like, it's just been, it's been a great day. I don't know why, but it's been a great day. So I hope you're having a great day too. Thank you for joining me today. <laughs> All right, we have about 500 feet to go. Still on that heading 330. All of our gauges are in the green. CHT is only at 400. I mean, that is immaculate. We are gonna go ahead and lean out our mixture a bit because we might as well save a little money on gas. And right about here is where things took a turn. According to my GI 275 gauge, my fuel flow is almost 30 gallons per hour, which in my airplane isn't possible. Um, that's weird. So I'm looking at, that's really weird. I am looking at my gallons per hour for my fuel burn. I'll let you guys know in a second. We are gonna go in these clouds, so I'm gonna pull some of this power back. Field's in sight, one of the hills for one Charlie Alpha. For one Charlie Alpha, you're clear visual approach, runway 18, Houston Executive, contact the Executive Tower on 126.9 or 7. All right, clear visual 18 over to Tower, one Charlie Alpha, good day. Yeah, that's not gonna work for me, okay. Approach Cherokee 7738 November. I'm sorry, say again? Uh, this is Cherokee 7738 November. I actually need to go back to Sugarland Airport, please. No, three, November, no problem whatsoever. Send and maintain 3000, fly heading 350. Do you need any kind of assistance? To send and maintain 3000, could you give me that heading one more time for 7738 November, please? No, three, November, heading 350. 350, and no, I do not need assistance at this time for 7738 November. Thank you. 7738 November, would you like the visual or an RNAV approach? I currently am going in and out of clouds, but as soon as I get below these, I should be able to do a visual probably about two to three minutes if that works for you. Now, 3 November, affirmative, you can expect a visual approach, maintain 3000. I'll expect a visual approach, maintain 3000. 7738 November, thank you. Okay. Turn right heading 360. 360 now, 7738 November. So, I am looking at my engine instruments and my fuel burn was at 35 gallons per hour. My CHT was at 405 and none of those numbers were making sense to me. Everything else looks good. However, because I did just get that new Magneto installed, I'm gonna go ahead and land and call my aircraft mechanic and just make sure everything is good. Granted, we're gonna have to take a look at a couple of other things too, but there's no reason to fly when I can already see that I may have an issue. Turn. Roger, I will advise as soon as I get to 3,000, I should be good for 773 in November. All right, looking for that field now. And three November, just be advised, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that shirt from the system, so if you do depart again, you'll have to refile, is that okay? That is fine, thank you for letting me know for 773 in November. So at this point, I'm feeling pretty good. I don't have a way to troubleshoot this problem. I'm still in contact with ATC. I'm out of the clouds. So now I'm just preparing myself for any and all possible scenarios up until I get back to the airport. As soon as I get below these clouds, I should be good. Yeah, so my RPMs are currently set to 1900 and it still says I am burning 17 gallons per hour. CHT is 320, so I would really just feel more comfortable getting on the ground and just making sure that I can verify that everything is working. I know I have plenty of fuel on board, but always good to double check. So that is why we're gonna go ahead and head back to the airport. We will try to do this another time. Go ahead and just hand fly. Still on that 360 heading. Company 87120 Tango is checking in out of uh, 900. Company 87120 Tango, Houston departure, red of contact, climb and maintain 4,000. Up to 4,000, 1 to Tango. And Houston Cherokee 7738 November, ready for that base turn now. 3 November, turn right heading 0, 090, descend and maintain 2,000. 090, descend and maintain 2,000, 7738 November, thank you. Zero nine or zero and two thousand. Two tango, they had us on the uh, runway heading. Do you want? To 
One zero zero now, continuing that turn, seven seven three in November. Center one two tango, turn right heading at two seven zero, back to the climb. Right at two seven zero, one two. Keep it coming. Okay. So we're continuing that descent, still looking out for traffic. I am still technically VFR right now, or excuse me, IFR right now. As soon as I get that field in sight, it should be good. All right, so at 3,200 feet, my CHT says 281, says I am burning 16 gallons per hour at 1,900 RPM. I know my airplane, so I can definitely tell there is a problem. It may just be a depiction issue, but no reason to risk it. Three in November, descent maintain 2,000. Continuing that descent down to 2,000 for 773 in November. Okay, everything is still in the green. We have 500 feet to go and then we're gonna level off at that 2000. Airspeed right now, we're at 107 indicated and still on heading 100. Still on the lookout for traffic too, but still talking air traffic control, so. Three in November, turn right heading 150. 150 to the right, 773 in November. There is that 150. Houston approach, Skyline 58583, checking in uh, well, 8,200 for 6,500. There's 58583, Houston approach, you can continue. Okay, there's 150. And 200 feet to go until we reach our selected altitude. And then on to India with the Sierra. Which is what that beeping indicates right there, so that's perfect. Go ahead and speed up a little bit. I know I have the fuel on board. RPMs are now set to 2200 RPMs, and now I am burning 22 gallons per hour with a CHT of 285. Still looking for the field. 110, radar contact two miles south of the Executive Airport, turn left heading 030, effective for the climb. And 020, I'm heading for 6110. Should be pretty much a straight shot, but I don't see it quite yet. Sure, we'll do that one, sir. Air 3 in November, the airport's at your 1 o'clock, 6 miles. Yeah. Roger, looking for 773 in November. Air 3 in November, flighting 170. 170 now for 773 in November. Ooh, a little bit of a bump there, nice. Air 6110, contact departure on 12. Ah, there it is. Check in with your heading. You betcha, 2667. Good day, sir. Air 12 Tango, proceed direct to Bach. Box, one, two, Houston, Cherokee, 773 in November, I've got the field in sight. At 3 in November, cleared visual approach, runway 17, contact Sugarland Tower, 118.65. Cleared visual, over to Tower, thanks for your help, I appreciate it, 3 in November. You're welcome to park. Alright, over to Tower, we are visual, I've got the field in sight. Everything is looking good so far. I'm going to go ahead and switch tanks here in just a second. Sugarland Tower, Turkey 773 in November, checking in. Turkey 773 in November, Sugarland Tower, wind 170 to 11. Excuse me, 11 gusting to 20, runway 17 clear to land. 17 clear to land, thank you for the wind check, 3 in November. All right. So our traffic pattern altitude is going to be 1100. Bring in a little bit more power. Electric fuel pump on. Fuel pressure's in the green. Landing light on. Okay, Juliet, holding short of 17 at Lima, ready for departure. Okay. This is 17 Sierra Juliet, Sugarland Tower, traffic check. Just a normal landing now. If something goes wrong, I will handle it. Not a whole lot of places for me to land if I do lose my engine, but I am getting closer to being able to glide into that airport. I'm not going to put any flaps in. 
until I know I have made the field for sure, just in case. Add in a little bit more power since I've got it. Got a few updrafts and some downdrafts causing my altitude to shift just a little, but that's all right. We'll switch to ground frequency, 121.4. And I'm gonna stop my descent at this point because I'd rather be too high and have to slip to come into land than be too low, just in case. Indicated airspeed is now 112, RPMs are 2100, gallons per hour burn rate is fluctuating between 18 and 20, and CHT is 323. Not seeing anybody on the runway, so that is a good sign. No other traffic to be concerned about at this time either. Perfect. Autopilot is disengaged. Looks good. So I'm not quite in that glide range just yet, adding a little bit of back trim, still trying to hold that altitude. Definitely coming in a little high, but that's all right. RPMs are 2,000, still burning between 14 to 20 gallons per hour. I'm gonna start slowing down now. Definitely feeling better. Even if I lose my engine right now, I might land in the grass, but I should be all right. It's time to come in to land and then discuss Pilot Institute's rock and sail. But if you've enjoyed the video, smash that like button, hit subscribe. It helps the channel and let's get to it. Okay, within that white arc, first notch of flaps and we'll do two. And I'm not gonna worry about trying to land on the thousand footers, just a nice, easy, safe landing. And that'll work for me. Now that we are safely back on the ground, if you've ever thought about being a pilot, check out Pilot Institute's full suite of courses from private pilot, instrument, commercial, and many more. They are having a great sale right now. Go check them out by clicking the link in the description.